Hello, this is Rico here with Anime on Location, and we're here with Professor Shot Guy, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, how, how have you been since we last spoke to you at Matsuri Con 2015? Pretty busy. Uh, uh, I'm starting to stream as well as play every weekend at cons. So, I'm trying to gonna I'm gonna kind of try and ease into streaming a little more and traveling a little less. I like traveling, but it's uh, every weekend is is it's driving. I always drive, so it gets exhausting. Right? Definitely exhausting. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about your third album release and the fan reaction to the new album. Um, it's different than my other stuff. It's uh, My previous stuff was all like individually nerdy tracks about specific things like, you know, words or homonyms or those are words. Science and, and games and stuff like that. Uh, the new one's like an overarching story. Um, uh, like a it's about how nerds turn against each other like a bunch of jerks. Uh, that's better than the word I said earlier. Um, but yeah, so and, and it's it's not individually nerdy songs, so I was kind of, I didn't know how people were going to accept it, but they really like it because they can relate. Because we've all done it. We've all had, well, not everybody, but we've all had kind of that inclination to be like, oh, that person's not really a whatever, but that's petty and stupid, and that's why we left the culture so that we could be comfortable, and then we start turning against each other. But yeah, fan reaction's been super good because it's a big epic. Like, opera story arcing album thing. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and so, what are some of the challenges and fun when releasing original music in the form of pop opera? Uh, challenging is is writing the whole thing so it all connects to each other, because like, I have like melodies that repeat and lines that repeat, like a musical, like an opera type thing. Um, it's just, man, and then having to write the story as I write the songs, sort of like having, I have to have the whole story in mind to write the song so I can keep it consistent. Though sometimes they would, you know, I'd get an idea and it could affect the story. It's really fun. It's really fun to do, and it's kind of cheating because if I can't think of a line to write, then I can just use one of the lines from the other songs and be like, it's referencing itself. It's smart, not lazy. Um, but yeah, it's been super fun. Sweet. And can you define for us English English language gymnastics? <laughs> uh. That's in my bio. So what, what, the re it means like there's a song that I have that's uh, the verses go in alphabetical order. It goes A to Z twice, Z to A twice, and then the third verse or the bridge is uh, every following syllable is the next letter of the alphabet, as in like A B B C C D. Like abilities become condoned, like a chain of letters, and that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. And then like I'll have songs that are like a buttload of homonyms, so that it, and then again like if the win, I win and lose at the same time, because, uh, like for the ABC song, for example, uh, people don't know it's in alphabetical order, so like, that means I win because it runs smoothly enough and it doesn't sound disjointed and weird like the verses, but I lose because then nobody can tell it's in alphabetical order, so then they don't see what I'm doing. Because <laughs> it's a song, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And can you really sing, play the guitar, and keyboard while juggling at the same time? Well. Not juggling. I'm juggling the instruments. <laughs> I'm juggling those three things. Yeah, I I've been, I used to not do that song as much, but I'm starting to kind of work it back in. I have a song where I'll be playing guitar, and singing, and uh, playing keyboard at the same time. I used to do drums and guitar and sing at the same time, but it's a lot harder to lug drums around when you're driving everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. True. Okay. So how can fans keep and keep up with you? Online. Yeah. Not online, online, but online. <laughs> I was reading the sheet. Uh, online. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, uh, Twitter's a great way. Facebook's a great way. Twitter's a good way. That's more just like I think it's something funny or stupid, and I'll post it on Twitter, just twitter.com slash Professor Shy Guy. Mm -hmm. Or Facebook.com slash Professor Shy Guy. It's where I do more of the, like, this is where I'm going on tour. This is where I'll, you know, more, not, it's still like goofy things, but uh, it's more where you can get more information on Facebook. Yeah. And what message do you have for all of the wonderful fans out there? Uh, keep liking what I like. Because then you'll like what I make. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, and, and if fire alarms go off, stay in place. Mm -hmm. Why and do interviews? Because uh, then you can go out on camera and then it's epic. <laughs> 